The coronavirus impacting your tax dollars, leaving the city of Charlotte with a nearly $22 million budget shortfall. And now city leaders are trying to figure out how to make up for the lost revenue. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs joins us with more. The city of Charlotte is now tasked with coming up with millions of dollars to fill that gap, all due to COVID-19. The city manager says he has a plan. It's good news for homeowners, but bad news for some programs and organizations. The coronavirus that's been sickening our community is now hitting Charlotte's wallet. We're not exactly sure what this will look like in the future. City Manager Marcus Jones says Charlotte has a $21.8 million shortfall or gap in next year's budget, all due to the economic impacts by the virus. We know that we can get through this uh, maybe better than any other city our size. Jones could have increased property taxes to fix the problem, but he didn't. Instead, a citywide hiring freeze and departments watching their spending will create eight and a half million dollars. Roughly eleven million dollars will come from shifting around funds and three and a half million dollars will come from added revenue. We preserve core services in this budget. We are not laying off employees. No city furloughs either. The city will not dip into its rainy day fund, but the budget it still includes a $50 million affordable housing bond and $14 million will go towards street projects to lower congestion and save you time on the roads. We have a, a stable organization, a, a resilient organization, but maybe more importantly, an adaptable organization. But organizations and programs like the Arts and Science Council could take a hit. The ASC asked the city for $7 million in the budget, but will only get $3.2 million, the same amount that it got last budget. An important note about that hiring freeze, it does not impact CMPD or the Charlotte Fire Department. They are still allowed to hire employees. This is just a budget proposal. It would still need to be approved by the city council, so a lot could change before that happens. I'm Hunter Signs for WCNC Charlotte.